Hello everybody, I am Tom and you will watch me play Ghost Runner 2. So, let's continue. Uh, it's been a while since I played last. A few days at least, because of work. But, we are now back in... HQ. Interesting. Um, I will talk to him, but first I kind of want to, uh... Check out this stuff. Uh... I have so much, I think because I'm replaying the levels, I'm inadvertently, by trying to get good times, I'm getting a shitload of currency. Because he's like 5,000 or whatever, I have 89k, so it's not like I'm really in need of it, you know what I mean? Uh, flow. When your combo reaches 11, your energy fully regenerates. Interesting. I've also noticed that these have a different effect if you put them on the last column. Which is interesting. Not all of them do, some of them do. Uh, smooth moves. Performing a perfect parry and deflecting projectiles is way easier. And performing a perfect parry regenerates 35% of your energy. And if you put it, no chips on both sides. Performing a perfect parry regenerates 50% of your energy. It's interesting that these are, um, uh, I think, how do I do this? Is it just... There was a shortcut to get to my powers, and I can't remember what it was. Uh, let's talk to everybody here. I guess we're not talking to her. She's doing shit. At least... Oh, no, I can't. Your there we go. The church now. They got Cybervoid back up. This is huge. I mean, we don't know when they did that, but it might explain how you were able to come back after disabling the original network. You might have interfaced with their grid by default. Wouldn't they just cut me off? It might be impossible. Ghost Runners were designed with Cybervoid integration in mind. Or they might have chosen not to cut you off. They've got plans for me. Interesting. If Architect is back, he's bound to have a plan for you. I'm worried, Jack. I'll be fine. If he's back, I'll just delete him again. How's the Interface Council project? Oh, give me a break. The idea is to create an actual government to unite the tower. But for now, it's mostly just us climbers flexing way beyond our actual capabilities. Until at least one of the big players decides to join us, it's going to remain a gimmick. Connor's pet project. But hey, the Interface Council has the only Ghost Runner and Dharma on its side. That ought to count for something. Not the only one anymore. That's exactly what I was about to say. Well then, I'm out of ideas on how to sell it. Interesting. It's actually not that up on the idea. He's got a like. face under there? Dude, that is his face. What? No way. Totally. The whole thingies, the glowing thingies, are the eyes. So he's got three eyes. Yeah, makes for better depth perception. This actually makes sense. I like these guys. How's the search for the Ashura? Slow and steady. My guy found a guy who knows a guy who once saw a ghost runner in a back alley behind a bar. He was shit-faced, though. And he claims it could have been you. Do you frequent back alleys behind base instinct? What do you think? Hey, I'm not judging. <laughs> I mean, I do frequent. <laughs> Pretty frequently, too. <sighs> Just let me know when you have something. Sure thing, Chief. I kind of like Connor, despite the fact that he is a dick. He's a douchebag, but he's a funny douchebag. How are the climbers? How are the climbers? Just peachy. I mean, we've got a major power shortage, an open war with the hammers, a humongous water debt to the Icemen, and somebody shit all over the men's room. Again. But let me worry about these things. You you just stick to what you're good at, huh? You do the stabbing, I'll do the thinking. Hmm. Interesting. He sees me as a weapon, seemingly. 
a weapon that he feels like he can manage easily by the sounds of things. Uh, the dock is not in, apparently. Alright, so I guess let's go talk to Bakunin. Hey, bud. Any updates? Yeah, but not about the Ashura. Your failed church infiltration. What about it? I think I know someone who will be able to help you break through. I thought you were focused on the Ghost Runners. I was. It just so happens that the same person is our best bet of digging up intel on them. Who is it? An old... colleague. Do you know where to find this colleague? Got a general idea? I'm gonna need you to scout out a particularly nasty part of Dharma City. Talk to me when you're ready to make the trip. Who are you exactly? Who are you exactly? A soldier. A failed mutineer. A former key. I've got a feeling the last one outweighs the others around here. I don't care about your past. Glad to hear it, but I'm afraid you're in the minority on this. Interesting. Um, I will do that mission, but not yet. It's gonna be it for this episode. I just wanted to kind of run through and do the story in the... I nearly said in the tower. I've been playing too much Destiny. Which, to be fair, I've always been playing too much Destiny, but it's just kind of the way it goes. Um... But yeah, if you like the video, please leave a like, subscribe, all that kind of jazz, and I shall see you next time where we'll take on this next mission with Bakunin. It's interesting now that we have, like, multiple quest givers, kind of. I assume Zoe will give you some things to do later. We've also got Connor, and now we have Bakunin as well. So they're all going to kind of, like, give me different directions to go. I wonder if there's going to be, like, actual choices in this game. It'll be interesting, because previously the other game... Because it's, it's very much a, like, a do-this-level speedrun type game, so... Having the having like the the idea of like RPG elements where you can make choices would be interesting, but I don't know whether it's going in that direction or not. We'll find out, I suppose. But as I said, I'll see you next time, guys.